Hey guys, Luke here from Yak Hunters. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how to raise a larger fish or a, a weighty fish uh, from the bottom to the top using a relatively light setup. Uh, so as you can see, I've got a, a large fish on the on the line. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it is at this point. However, I'm using my uh, trusty one to three kilo brim rod. Um, so the line I've got is a little bit heavier. Uh, I've got some 10 pound braid main and some 14 pound leader fluoro. Um, the rod itself is a one to three kilo. So while the line could probably handle it, uh, I'm not too sure about the rod. So all I'm doing here is I'm keeping the rod uh, fairly low. So about a 45 degree angle, uh, which keeps the pressure off the tip of the rod and moves it more towards the butt of the rod, which is handy for, for lighter gear. Um, also with the drag, I've just backed the drag off a bit. Um, I'm raising the, the rod slightly, but if it pulls hard, it's just gonna pull drag off, off the reel. Um, all I simply do there to enhance that is just cover up the main line with my finger. Um, so that if I need to put some additional pressure on the line, um, that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna lift it to the top. Reason being is, uh, if for whatever reason, uh, this fish decides to pull line or have a, a decent run at the yak which they quite often do is that i can just let go of my finger and he's just going to pull that line straight off the reel and, and run with it um so i know it's tempting sometimes to try and just tighten your drag up uh and skull drag these fish in but if you do that okay on like you generally one or two things could happen one is that worst case scenario it can snap your rod uh if it runs hard under the kayak or off and two is that it'll snap your line so just back to drag off you're gonna have to have a little bit more patience because as it runs it's gonna peel line yeah so i think it took me about 15 minutes um, to fight this this fish to the top so patience is the key use your kayak the drift to try and fatigue this fish get it off the bottom and raise it to the top now when you get the uh, the fish to the top, okay, so as you can see, I've finally fatigued it and it's starting to raise to the surface, which is good. And what we've got here is an Eastern Shovelnose Ray. Uh, so they're quite a weighty um, fish or a ray. They, they tend to lock you down on the bottom. Um, so when you get it to the top, when you're going to net the fish or, or a decent sized fish, um, try and position your net in the water and then swim the fish into the net. If you try and sweep or scoop at it, you'll touch it, you'll spook it, and it'll run off and just pull more line, and you're back to square one, you're back to fight it again. Uh, so a handy little tip there is um, once you fatigue that fish and you get him to the top, okay, even if you think it's fatigued, put your net in the water, position it, swim the fish over to your net, try and get it over the top, and then scoop it straight up. Okay, and that's going to uh, enhance your chances there of, of actually landing it. So we'll get him in the kayak, a uh, little eastern shovel nose ray. Uh, it's about a metre long. But, yeah, these fish are quite solid. Uh, they'll lock you down on the bottom. I thought it was a cod at first, but, uh, yeah, this ugly little bugger popped up. Um, good little fight on the one to three kilo rod. So some tips there is to keep your rod relatively low. Uh, take the pressure off the tip and move it towards the butt using a 45 degree angle. Um, back your drag off so you don't want to keep it too tight because if it runs hard at the kayak it's going to snap your line and position your net in the water swim the fish towards your net and just lift it straight up and hopefully you'll be able to land uh, some decent unexpected fish on like gear if required to do so cheers for watching guys and good luck out there